What's up everyone and welcome to a new vlog. So you join me today, a bit of a challenge vlog. So today is Saturday and tomorrow I have a big day ahead of me. I have the 30K GC30 run here on the Gold Coast of Australia. It's the first time I've ever entered a running event and it's gonna be the first time I've ever run that far. So what my aim is to do on this video is to take you along, let you know my thoughts and feelings kind of afterwards and how I get on really. So today, Summer and I are taking a walk along the boardwalk now. We're heading to towards the spit on the Gold Coast. So we're taking a walk up there. We're gonna check out the course. I've got to collect my race pack info, which is like the number, mm -hmm. uh, because I registered really late, like only a week ago. So I couldn't have it posted out to me. Made it to Doug Jennings Park. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, I believe so. Yeah, so we're just gonna find the like check-in area. I think it's over there. Yeah, it's a nice, nice park this. I did run here once the other day and then down the spit, it's wow. su so super nice. Okay, let's head over there. We found it. Do you need these little pins? Seems to be Got your number? Got a number, here it is. So it's the entry to the 30K. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. What is that? I've got a freebie. Is it? A blindfold? Headband. Not blindfold. blindfold, actually that's silly. Just chilling in Doug Jennings Park now. We found like a really nice spot with the boat. Oh, that's cool, boat's coming back. Jet skis, it's making us very excited to have a jet ski, isn't it, Matt? Very much so. Shall I, I'm gonna hold this so it's like I'm doing the run. <laughs> I did fill out half of the registration form and I didn't finish it because it's a bit too scared. Next one. Gonna I'm gonna run that. 10K tonight though, yeah. as in for my race. The thing is I get a bit scared about like, what if I need the toilet halfway through? Like, wait, obviously. <laughs> uh, I said you can just get past that. Sure, because it was only like a 7.5k and a 15k, and I feel like I can do a 7.5k, so I'd like to push myself to a 10k, but 15k is too much right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I'm. Anyway, I don't want to. Um, take the spotlight off Mark because he's doing the 30k. Ah, there's no spotlight, it's all good. And then we want to look at doing the. Was it the Gold Coast half marathon next as well together? Maybe as another challenge. All right, we're just finishing up today now, taking a walk around where we're going to be running. And I'm just thinking about what an amazing location this is, yeah. right? Oh, Matt said I'm the coach. Yeah, so over and out from me and the coach, Summy. <laughs> coach Summy, and we'll pick this vlog up tomorrow. Super early in the morning. We're going to be setting off on the run at around 7 a.m. So we will and see you then. Hi. Hey everyone, just picking this vlog up in the evening. I know we did say tomorrow. Just wanted to share with you one more thing, the importance of setting your intentions for the day ahead. So let me flip the camera around. Here I have laid out all of the gear, including the trainers, made sure everything is okay. And so that tomorrow, no decisions have to be made, just come out, get everything straight on, and then ready to go. All right, everyone. So I'm currently just spending 10, 15 minutes foam rolling in preparation for tomorrow, just to make sure my legs are all ready to go. And I just thought I'd show you the view. The sunset is going down now over the hinterland area. It looks absolutely incredible. So after this, I'm gonna head down to the sauna and then spend some time in there just focusing and spend a lot of time doing visualization, to be honest. I do that a lot in my everyday life. So I'm gonna visualize the race tomorrow, visualize success. A popular quote going around at the moment. The person you will be in five years is based on the books you read and the people you hang around with today. This is quite true but it applies to everything else as well. The person you will be in the future is based on everything you do today. The Good morning, everyone. You join me at 5 a.m. pre-run, and I'm about to show you what I'm gonna have for breakfast for the pre-run meal. Let's take a look. So here we have it, essentially English muffins with a big scoop of peanut butter, banana, blueberries, jam, and a bit of honey on top for all the good energy. And I'm also gonna make a drink and I'll show you that now. All right, now I'm gonna take a glass of coconut water for all the good electrolytes, and then a small scoop of protein. You wanna change your life, my friends. You gotta change your physiology, and you gotta change your focus. When you're trying to get wealthy, you wanna literally, you wanna go all in and it not be a bet. You need to know the space so well that you're like, I know for sure this is gonna work. You can't have a standard education and expect to have an extraordinary life. It's not gonna happen. The one breakthrough for all leaders is constant never ending improvement. Wow. You can actually see like the rays of the sun. That's the best sunrise I've ever seen. Okay, yes, Matt's got his thingy on. Ready. Ready to go? Let's go. Let's do this. Last thing I'm doing, which is something I learned from someone that does a lot of hiking, um, is to Vaseline up the toes and the feet. 
to no. stop this. Just don't feel my toes. <laughs> no one wants to see that. I've arrived, it looks busy, lots of people here. And what was so good actually, as we drove down here, lots of families here. Yeah. Because there's also some kids running events. And what an amazing thing for a family to get up and do on a Sunday morning. So, so that's sweet. good to see. And look, look at all these people. A lot of people. <laughs> I hope no one makes a mistake because I'm filming that I'm actually a professional athlete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be bad. You are a professional mm. athlete, babe. Okay, that's the, I'm just here the start it. line or the finish line? Well, everyone's walking this way. Of Matt's warming up now. Yes. Yeah, warm up. We're about 20 minutes no, away really from the start line. The club Let's go. Get behind. He's still relatively <laughs> There's the start line. Second year. To start. There's the start Mate, line. Here we go. Yeah. You got this, start baby. Yeah, Woo! It. Team Matt. With a white arch. Bye. Up to start. We've got the pros at the front. You ready? Three, two, one. I'm just on the way to a turning point, which Matt's gonna run by probably in like 30 or 40 minutes, but I'm gonna get prepared and go there so I can cheer him on. And then that'll be, I think, near the end of his first 15K. And then he has to do the whole lap again for 30K. So I'll let you know if I see him. Such a beautiful place to be going for a run. We have the first runner. So he is in first place. Oh my god, that is fast. Seven K. Oh, so he's in seven K. Wow. Race over there. So sweet and so inspiring that little kids are running. Got another runner. Woo! Well done. Well done. Bye, donkeys! Woo! So proud! Go, Matt! How are you feeling? Woo! Superstar! Back. Go, Matt! Love ya! Yay! Look at this guy! Representing Norse! Woo! Her Patrick, you legend. He's a quiet soul, isn't he? Matt Miller! He did it! Woo! He done it. I was looking for you. Why are you not see me? Take a breather, babe. Oh, you did it before two and a half hours. You are a legend, Graham, mate. Wow. Love you too. Yes, huge shout out to everyone involved. There we go, finished, okay. Just shows, never ran that far, far. Put your mind to something, you can do anything. And it was amazing seeing all the other inspirational people around me running. And we did it, we made it. In just under, wait, well, I checked the time, but it was two like, and a half, I think. just under two and a half. Nice, well done, babe. Feels good, and lots of good people around. Well done, Matt. I'm so proud of you. How are you feeling now? I'm in some pain now, but I also feel really proud of myself and really happy that I committed to doing something like that and stuck it through and got to the finish line. So I'll probably jump on camera and talk a little bit more later about how I feel and how it went when I've got some energy back. Mm -hmm. But right now, I need a deep stretch and yeah. some cold water. And then maybe a little play in the ocean yeah. later. What a gorgeous day and absolutely amazing spot. So thanks to the host organizers. <laughs> what a really good event. I'm really pleased. Yeah, it shows you can do anything when you put your mind to it, eh? And I just want to say I am so proud of Matt. He was amazing. I kept like um, seeing him on different parts of the run and like, woo! I did get a bit of film, but it was so fun. And you were like so in the zone, 
and just like you that was like at the front nearly like not many people in front of him but the 30k I was 30K. chasing the front and the back down yeah I was and I've never done a race before so I couldn't have done it without my coach, my coach Summer, so I just want to say a huge thank you. I'm very grateful for you inspiring me every single day, especially with the run that you did last night. That was hugely oh, yeah, inspiring. Oh yeah, we haven't told them that. But you inspire me every day to do things like this, so thank you so much. Last night I decided to do a 15, well I went out to do a 10k, which is the most I've ever ran in my life. And I ended up doing 15k. I actually don't know how I did it, um, but yeah, in an hour and a half, or a bit over that maybe, but... And also we did the run today with Cam, one of our mentors, who yeah. did 15k, he did really well. Um, shout out to Cam, shout amazing out to job. Cam and Elise, well done. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. You are coach, here's some bling. <gasps> Yay! Oh, it's gone down my top. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that if I need to. Yeah, 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 GC30. <laughs> Can I get it? Oh yeah. Okay, Matt's oh. gonna. <laughs> yeah, but you need to eat. Well, um, stretch and then eat. So we'll yeah. pick the camera up later. We've just set it up as a little yoga studio. Shout out to Tom Merrick. Tom Merrick, body weight warrior. We've watched him actually for quite a long time, a few years now. His videos are really good. Definitely recommend. I think his is his YouTube Tom Merrick or body weight warrior. Body weight warrior. All right, what's up everyone? So I think we're going to enjoy a well-deserved afternoon at the beach now. It's an absolutely beautiful day. There's actually a sailing regatta, a sailing race going on outside at the moment, which is going to be amazing for us to watch. What a beautiful location. So yeah, we packed a bag with some fruits, towels. Some fruit for the beach towel. And, oh, an Uber. Yum, yum, yum. Ready? Let's go. Fruit out on the beach. Delicious, and this is the view. So there's the ocean. Beautiful, beautiful day. Mm. Good this fruit. This is heaven in honor. This really good. Sure is. Right after a few hours on the beach, relaxing on an amazing day, it's time to scan the barcode and actually see how I did. Hopefully, I'll be able to see everyone else as well. I'm really interested in how quick the first people were because they looked. Very, they very were fast. unbelievably Weren't fast. They? Insane. They were jogging yeah. faster than my sprint. Oh, <laughs> and they just kept it up for the whole time. Amazing. So well done to everyone. This is Matt's number, 3642. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Actually, Matt did win, but it was Matt Cooper. Oh, <laughs> well done, Matt. Well done to Matt Cooper in a time, amazing time, of one hour 47 and one minute. One wow. second, sorry. So one hour, 47 minutes, and one second. <gasps> followed by Andrew Day, or Day Day, um, at one hour, 48, 29. Wow. And Thomas uh, Brimlow at one hour, 50. So wow. close, but not that close, but still all amazing time. Well, the guy at the front was most ahead, the 49. Let's see, the first, fastest woman, I did 15k in an hour and 36, so that's like, they've done it, yeah. double the distance. So let's find out the fastest woman, I believe in 10th place, Taylor Haley. Wow. Well done. Two hours, two minutes, <gasps> and 45 seconds. That Amazing is incredible. Time. So let's scroll, There was a lot of really fit girls. Where's Matt? 10th, 11th place? <laughs> wow, that would be incredible. <laughs> First race ever. But Goose, the, the top winners are in like two hours. You're not far off that, you were still two and a half. Yeah, well, I think the extra 50 minutes is quite significant. But look, it's a foundation point for me to work on, that's all that matters. It's so only you versus, versus you. you. <laughs> exactly. So I'm on page two, but that's okay. That's incredible, I'm Goose. I'm still scrolling. Well done to everyone, these are good times. It's getting close to my time. Okay, page three. So I did come in after 100. 105. Wow, well done. In the place. You know what, like, I think I'm probably one and a half to two times the body weight of a lot of the runners there. So I'm really pleased with that. And again, it's not yeah. about other people. Exactly, yeah. In two, so I did it in two hours, 27 minutes and 57 wow. seconds. You've only been running for like six weeks. So I think you should be really proud of the yourself. The person ahead of me got two hours, 27, 56 seconds, one second faster. Oh, I bet there's so many times which are so close together. So 
Yeah, I've got page three on the results out of 13 pages. For the 30K? Yeah. Page three? Yeah. So there's 600, oh. well, it says 638 items, you think that means players, let me go to the last page. Wow, just in the 30K, that seems a lot. I think that was like a couple wow. hundred. The lot did not finish. It does show, yeah, like, yeah. even to finish it is, is a great achievement that everyone should be proud of. Yeah. To so finish first. It, there's a couple of pages of DNA. Really? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Everyone in the comments say well done to Matt. <laughs> Thank Woo! You. Yeah, there we go. So we're off to get some food now. Super hungry. According to my Apple Watch, I know Apple Watch isn't 100% accurate in terms of calories, but I've burned 3,000 calories <gasps> during that run. Let's go eat 3,000 calories. <laughs> yeah, that's an excuse. <laughs> no. Okay. The different like age ranges. Look, 70 plus. Look at these people that did it in three hours. 70 plus. Like that's so inspiring. It's so it's so inspiring. Even to run 30k at 70 plus is absolutely amazing. And the guy that came in fourth was 50 to 59. Yeah. Like you can be so fit um, at any age, can't you? And just seeing all the kids doing the kids' races as well. That was so one. cute. Well, I think there was two. You, you told yeah, there was, was a there really a young girl doing the 15k. Yeah. With really her good. Mom. Yeah. That's a great way to spend a Sunday. All right, everyone, continuing the vlog, we're taking a nice walk over to Chevron Island, which is that sign up there. Beautiful evening, the sun is just going down, and we're going to be getting some food. All right, we made it back. We've got some delicious chips with an amazing ocean view. So, we started today off with the sunrise. And here we are with the sunset. Beautiful, right? Hashtag carb load. <laughs> Can we carry on the carb load? Yes. Hey everyone, so it's a few days after when we last picked up the camera in this vlog. We're actually off today to go film a sub penthouse over in the Soul Peppers building here on the Gold Coast. So stay tuned for that vlog coming out very soon. But I just wanted to jump on quickly and say thank you so much to everyone that watched the video and thank you to everyone who also came to the event. I feel like I've got so much inspiration and it's just such an enjoyable time being around such positive people, all people that are trying to improve their fitness and just enjoy being outdoors. So I just wanted to say, if you're thinking of trying something like this, I highly recommend it. If you get out of your comfort zone, you're only gonna grow and it's just such a wonderful environment to be around any kind of fitness activity, I think. so. I really enjoyed sharing the experience with you and I hope to bring more challenges and events that Summer and I both will do um, around the world really. So yeah, thanks so much. Hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed coming along with us. Make sure to subscribe for future vlogs. What a beautiful day, look at this weather. Very grateful. Okay, thanks guys, see you later.